be something different You must be made for me Patience is never thin Good morning everyone, it's Chandler Alexis and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Did you guys miss my face? I've been gone for I think it's been a week and a half or two weeks since I've posted like a vlog and as you can tell by the title today's vlog is a really fun one because we are celebrating Adam's birthday this weekend. I'm so excited. Like, I love, first of all, uh, I don't know if it's like my sign or childhood trauma. I don't know what it is, but I am such like a giving person. Like, I, it, it makes me happy. It definitely gives me like a dopamine release to like get gifts for someone. And, also, I think shopping is another like dopamine release for me. So being able to have a reason to go shopping, love that. So I'm really excited to, sh uh, to celebrate his birthday this weekend. And with that being said, we're starting the birthday shenanigans today. Well, we're doing preparations today. I'm currently driving. Who can on? That's not me. I'm currently driving to Leeds so I can go to a few stores. I need to go to Flannels because he's already seen his birthday gift so I can talk about it right now with y'all. But I'm picking up a special pair of shoes for him. I won't tell y'all what exactly what it is because I want y'all to see it when he opens it. But I'm going there to pick up um, a pair of shoes that I had ordered and delivered there so they weren't delivered to our house. And then I also need to go to Zara. We got a cologne from there um, a few days ago. We went to Zara and we got a cologne and the nozzle on it was broken. So I'm going to go back and I was going to exchange it, but I think I'm just going to return it because I'm pretty sure when we went there a few days ago, it was only like one bottle left of it anyways. So I don't know if maybe that was just like a defective one or whatnot. Um, if they have a another one I might, I might get it but if not I'll just return that one and then also I need to go pick up a package for a friend and what else what else do we have going on today I've already gone to the gas station because our car was low on gas so I've done that I've also gone to the library today and returned the book that I was reading because I finished it and let me tell y'all that was the longest read of my life the book I was reading was called everything I know about love two out of ten don't recommend it was so boring I'm sorry the book is about someone's life like the author it's about her life it's like an autobiography but it's like a like a fun one it's, it's supposed to be fun but I don't know I think reading about someone else's life in book form it just wasn't for me and I even tried to watch the show I seen the, the snippet for the show I might try to watch it again today like I, I didn't try to watch it sorry let me rephrase I watched like the trailer of it and even the trailer kind of looks whack but the book y'all when I tell you I on my um habit tracker that I have it I'm supposed to read a chapter of a book every single day and y'all know that usually I go to the gym and I'll read while I do my Stairmaster. But that book was so boring that it was hard for me to even, like doing Stairmaster, reading that book made me want to die from the Stairmaster. Usually the book is supposed to distract me and make me forget I'm on the Stairmaster. No, that one, I felt like I was in like a double hell. Stairmaster and reading that book. I'm so sorry, I can't apologize enough for being so brutally honest to you right now. But, I mean, there's gonna be people that like the book and there's gonna be people that don't like the book. The reason I personally don't like the book was, one, it's based on a British author, which I did not know that, so I can't really even relate to half the shit that she was talking about. Um, Cause she talks about like when she was younger, how she was taking train from this place to that place to go see men and hook up with them and stuff like that. Like, I can't relate to that. When I was in high school, I was at home, no car, you know, doing homework, hanging out with friends, but I was not going to link up men on a train. 
you know, two hours away. Um, she was also talking about like, I don't know, just like her journey with herself. I don't know. I think the most boring part is, and I'm sorry if this ruins it for anyone. It's not really like ruining it because you're reading the autobiography to know about the person's life, but the it's about everything she knows about love, right? I don't think personally I can take advice from someone talking about love who at the end of the book ends up in their 30s and still single. Excuse me? <laughs> you want to give me advice about love? Like, I don't mean that in an insulting way, but to me, it's like me telling you how to ride a horse and I don't even own a horse. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, it just was not for me. It was just a long read, felt like it was never going to end, and I tell you, I was even, like, dreading the last two, three pages. Like, I was literally trying to, like, read so fast just to be able to close that book, but anyways, enough of my rant about that book. I turned it in um back to the library so that's all i've done so far and now i am driving to leeds. well i'm in leeds now but i was driving to leeds so we're gonna go to zara first i think yeah no yeah maybe either zara or or flannels i'm not mm. Mm. <laughs> i'm debating because i want to take y'all in with me but I'm by myself and I get anxiety trying to hold this camera up vlogging in places when I'm by myself. So I think I might vlog on my phone. I really need to get out of this whole acting shy type of thing because it's not an act, but I feel like it's an act. You know what I mean? Like my whole life I grew up not being the shy kid at all. Like I loved being center of attention you know at like family gatherings at let's do a talent show let's show them our new dance choreography like that was me as a child now I'm like why are you looking at me don't look at me stop staring at me <laughs> so I really need to get out of this whole weird stage of my life of being shy and honestly just get through my anxiety my anxiety is like what makes me shy but my anxiety is just hell to deal with so I'm even getting anxiety right now just thinking about going in there right now with the camera <laughs> but we'll figure it out we'll figure it out I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and oh I gotta sneeze <laughs> you bust me Ooh. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy coming along with me um, in this vlog and just getting things together for Adam's birthday. Oh, by the way, that's what I meant to say. Adam's birthday isn't until the 10th. I don't know what day I'll post this, but his birthday is on April 10th. We're just celebrating it April 6th so that all his friends can come down for the weekend and go out with us so yeah that's also y'all when you see i'm not gonna tell you what we're doing because you're gonna see it in a second but his birthday is gonna be lit so stay tuned and i love y'all make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah let's let's get into it let's get started with our day by the way it's 10 30 i don't know if i mentioned that 10 30 a.m i'm up early nice and early pretty behind me y'all i just left flannels got the bag secured the bag going to zara now this background looks so gorgeous how cute is this bag it's just not attached but this is such a cute summer bag this one as well it's giving expensive on a budget so cute i am in the middle of nowhere in leeds i have no idea where i am i'm looking for an amazon locker because that's where the package is but like it says it's at the train station. The train is not. This is so 
<laughs> I swear, in the UK, they be putting Amazon lockers just anywhere. Like, what is... Where the hell? Let me show y'all what I'm looking at. This is what... Oh, it's right there. <laughs> this is such a random place to put an Amazon locker. Like, who would want to come here at night? Like, it's already creepy even during the day. But at night, to walk over here by yourself and get a package like what the heck look at this y'all <laughs> this is the uk for you all right this is what i needed packages secured <laughs> i look so cute today by the way um when did i last speak to y'all i think it was at zara after i left zara i went to Harvey Nichols and just went there to see if they have the Kylie Jenner perfume not because I want to buy it um would that make me a cons consumerism is that consumerism when you just like because it's hyped up and stuff and you don't actually need it you buy it is that consumerism because if so I wasn't trying to do that you know what I mean I just wanted to smell it just because I wanted to see if it smells good but I actually don't need any more perfumes right now like I have way too way too many so went there to try and smell it but they didn't have it there they were telling me to go to boots and i was like "Ugh, i don't really feel like walking all the way over to boots so i stayed in harvey nichols and i smelled like a few different ones i smelled creed i smelled for her i think it's called by creed or something her i smelled the boy version of it as well i also smelled and it's still on me and i think this might be my next perfume that i get i smelled rihanna's fenty perfume y'all amazing it to me it smells it smells like cocoa butter like okay the guy tried to explain the the ouds to it uh, the ouds in it to me but he was like oh yeah it's summery it's springy don't lie to me sir <laughs> do not lie to me this is giving very much fall, winter. The only time I'd probably wear this in the summer is at night. Like I wouldn't, I don't think this would be like my day-to-day -day type of scent. Actually, maybe, but I don't know. I feel like if you wore this every day, you would just smell like fall. Like that's how the best way I can explain it. Actually, it smells like a mix between- my, that's my nigga. It smells like a mix between fall and winter. It smells like I could be at a cabin in Mammoth snowboarding sitting by the fire drinking hot chocolate like that's that's the type of vibe it gives off it smells really nice though so that might have to be my next perfume pickup it's 115 pounds for a small little bottle which is crazy because it's not like it's a designer perfume you know what i mean it's fenty but for my girl rihanna i'd pay it like this it smells good y'all i don't know how to explain it like i can't even like compare it to any other scent it just smells like my childhood it smells like black hair products it smells like my auntie like i don't know <laughs> it smells good okay that's all i can say it smells like that one aunt that always comes to like the cookout dressed to the nines you know what i mean like smells delicious like that's what it smells like it smells like auntie rihanna it smells so good but now that i've got my pickups for the day and the packages i'm going to head back home because adam should be done with training in about an hour or so so i'm gonna i have a few more things to buy like shopping wise oh i can't stand when my baby hairs don't sit so I always end up cutting them because I feel like they're just too long, which is why they don't sit. But then when I cut them and they grow back, they do this again. So I don't know what to do, but it's annoying. I'm going to go back home and I'm going to shop on that end just so I'm closer to him when he needs to be picked up from training. So let's go. I need to find birthday cards. That's my next mission. Two birthday cards, not one, two. I lied to way before, before, before I had you write this home. Finally, a store that has a bunch of birthday cards. So I picked up, I think this one I'm gonna get. 
because I need a blue one and a red one. So I'm going to do this for the blue one. Um, they also have these cute decorations. I'm getting this balloon. What is it called? A balloon kit for happy birthday balloon banner type thing. Um, I think that's it besides the cards because everything else is kind of for like kids. <laughs> Oh, actually, you know what? I might get some candles. But I think we have some at home. Hmm. Okay, so I actually decided I'm gonna go over to this Morrison's to see if they have better cards because they had this, the place I was at, I was at like Pound, Poundland. They had the colored envelopes that I needed, but the cards were kind of basic i mean you guys seen the two like or the one that i was gonna pick um so i'm gonna see if i can find like cuter ones at morrison's okay the party section over here is so much bigger but i don't see any cards <laughs> like they've got all the birthday decorations here but no cards am i on the wrong aisle Hmm. Oh, there's a few here, but just a few. Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. Am I missing something here? Ah, an entire aisle. Perfect. A lady just came into the aisle and literally was like, if you need a card, you should go next door. There's a place called the Card Factory and they have like a bunch of cards. So she's just telling me like, um, they have like a better selection. Ooh, this one says for my boyfriend. For my boyfriend. So I think I'm gonna go over there, check it out, see what they got over there. Ew, no, this card is yuck. It says for my boyfriend, our love has led us down a road that's sometimes been quite bumpy, but I'll love you forever. Even when we're old and grumpy, been quite bumpy, not over here. Why would they make a card that's like talking about the negatives of a relationship? Whoa. Hmm. Okay. Let me let me find my card because like like that lady pointed out, there's a lot of them, and once you start reading them, you get lost in them. So let me figure this out. So I gotta pick up Adam soon as well. Back in the car, I got everything I needed from the card factory. The lady was right. The lady that told me go to the card factory, she was on to something because the cards at like Morrison's were cute, right? But I wasn't really looking for cute. Like the Morrison cards were like something I'd get at them once we're like in our old age and it's all like lovey-dovey, like you are my person, you are my world, you know. Happy birthday, baby. I didn't want that. <laughs> I didn't want that. We're still in our honeymoon stage, okay? I wanted some, fuck, you're getting old. I wanted something funny, something witty. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all what I got because I'm gonna write in it and whenever I write in the cards, I don't have him read it out loud to y'all. So the first card I got him says, here's to another birthday and another year of acting oh sorry of attempting to act like a responsible adult and if this isn't us right especially now that adam's a dad <laughs> like he got thrown into a parental figure whoa parental figure he got thrown into a parental figure or he got thrown into being a parental figure y'all know what i'm trying to say he's a parent now and obviously it was very like Today you're a dad now you know what i mean so every day we're pretending to be adults and i don't know we're just we're faking it till we make it so i got that one and then for the second card i got this one that says happy birthday now might be the time to start thinking whether you want to be buried or cremated basically saying he's old as fuck even though he's younger than me but those are the two cards i got and then with them i got a red and blue envelope to put them in because i'm doing like a red pill blue pill this baby hair is bothering me can y'all tell i'm doing a red pill blue pill type of birthday thing for him for his gifts like he's gonna basically get a gift on 
this weekend which is his birthday celebration and then he'll get the second gift on his actual birthday which is next wednesday so he's gonna have a red card and a blue card which is like red pill blue pill pick your poison which one are you going with and that will determine which gift he gets and on top of that the gifts that i got him match the colors like so one of his gifts is red and then one of his gifts is blue so i thought that was such a cute idea i seen someone do that on um tiktok a girl did like a vacation though so her boyfriend had to pick like a red envelope or a blue envelope to determine where they would go on vacation and i thought i'm stealing that i'm using that for his birthday so i got those and then i also got some wrapping paper to wrap his gifts and then i also picked up this um gift bag but it's not for me we'll get to that next week and then i also picked up some tissue paper which is again not for me and that is everything i bought from the card factory so successful trip i should have gone there to start with um and not wasting my time going to all these stores by the way tell me why i tried to go to where was it sains sainsbury's yeah sainsbury's yesterday to look at cards is that lit liner really dark right there tried to go to sainsbury's to look at cards yesterday why are there cards for five six pounds are you out of your mind for like the same size as well y'all like this sized card four five six pounds ridiculous i'm at mcdonald's <laughs> hello thank you at mcdonald's now because i haven't had anything to eat this morning surprisingly i'm not like hungry i'm not starving but i realized like i need to eat that's not healthy so i was like i'm just gonna stop at mcdonald's and get a little quick breakfast quick breakfast quick lunch it's lunch time it's one in the afternoon so i just i'm getting a cheeseburger meal and then i'm either gonna head home or head over to pick up adam he said he wasn't ready when i last texted him so we'll see because i was about 30 minutes ago so i got the hiccups um yeah overall though successful morning trip i got what needed to be done done and now i can go home start wrapping gifts and then maybe go to the gym not maybe i'm gonna go to the gym at five four seven <laughs> gift here as you can see there's actually two gifts inside here so i'm about to wrap everything i've got another gift over here too that needs to be wrapped when i was at flannels i asked for a small bag to put my other gift in my second gift i actually got it from i can't say where i got it from because then it'll give away what it was but it's a designer item you could say and so it didn't have a bag. And so when I was at flannels, I just asked them to give me another bag. So they gave me this one, which is perfect because one will be red card, blue card, and he'll see both flannels and he'll be like, hmm, which one do I want? Like they're both good gifts, do you know what I mean? So we're gonna, actually this one's gonna have two gifts and one of them is from a different store, but they're all good gifts, all right? That's all he needs to know. And so I'm gonna wrap them and I'm gonna put them inside these bags. And then the cards are gonna be like poking out of them I think that's what I want to do so let's see what it looks like this dog will not leave me alone you need a haircut so bad wait should I just cut your hair yeah. don't move stay because you're getting matted it needs a haircut y'all but um they don't have any availability until the end of the month i'm almost wanting to give him another haircut like i did last time you can always remember all right baby oh adam's texting me is he ready to be picked up yes he is okay so i'm gonna have to wrap these when i get back i know i was supposed to show y'all what the gifts look like when i was done wrapping them but i got distracted because adam needed me to do something i can't remember what and then i totally forgot that i was vlogging that for y'all but i finished wrapping his gifts and my office looks a mess i still need to wrap these gifts which are not for me by the way i realized 
I'm putting all of Adam's birthday content into one vlog so I can actually talk about what the other gift was for this the friend I said I was like picking up a package for and stuff that's for Sydney y'all know Sydney Sydney is in the states right now and her boyfriend JT who is also Adam's teammate his birthday is the day after Adam's so he's the 11th Adam's the 10th and so she's not going to be here due to work like she won't be here to celebrate his birthday but she's so cute she literally just had all of his gifts sent to like the Amazon post office box that I went to go pick it up from and then she's had some gifts sent to my house so as her friend I've taken it upon myself to help her out here I'm going to wrap her gifts and then put it in here and then you'll see on Thursday yeah because his birthday's next Thursday we will um I'll show y'all how he's gonna get his gifts but that is to worry about a little bit later because that's not until next week i need to sort out the stuff that's going on tomorrow because tomorrow's saturday it's friday today let me show y'all i <laughs> i wrapped adam's gifts and then i hid them because adam would find them like if he feels like i'm being sneaky like he will find them so you know just my closet just my wardrobe my pants you know but if you reach far enough this kind of reminds me of that harry potter scene where they're like the train goes into the wall <laughs> if you reach far enough you'll find a little baggie look and then inside here i wrapped his gifts in the happy birthday wrapping it's got two in here okay so that's that one put that back in there if you reach deep 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 down there oops, you'll find this big one and once again I wrapped the gift Eesh. that's in here so those are his gifts let me put that back in I also have a few little more gift things coming not really gift gifts but like like party favors that i'm doing that he doesn't know about so that comes tomorrow which is saturday i hope that it comes on time because i actually have to like do something for it so i'm praying i'm praying i'm praying it comes in the morning if not i'm screwed um but right now oh my gosh y'all can you see these are there's a package here that's sydney's package another one of her gifts for jt and then on the floor there's another package there which is an ear piercing kit because adam's friends are coming tomorrow for his birthday and they want their ears pierced so we're gonna pierce them before we go out for the night and i'm doing it because y'all know i'm the piercer you know i did my own ears i did cruise i did adam's i did cruise aunts i did cruise grandmas i've done so many people's ear piercings now like honestly i should just start it as a business right i should just become an ear piercer but they were like can you do ours so i was like sure so i ordered the piercing kit to do theirs and what else what else oh right now i am baking adam's cake i am a woman of all trades okay i am a woman of many trades i pierce ears i bake i wrap <laughs> gift wrapped of course <laughs> but i'm making him a cake he requested for his birthday a chocolate cake with chocolate and cream cheese frosting so whatever that man wants he gets because the things he does for me he can have it all okay so i'm making him actually two cakes and i'm also making cupcakes so i'm doing like a normal size cake like crew got for his birthday and then i'm also doing a bento cake which is just like a small like literally this size smaller cake because i'm gonna do the big cake on display here i got this new cake stand so we're gonna display his big cake in this and then his small bento cake i'm going to take it with us tomorrow because we're going out to dinner for his birthday tomorrow I'm gonna take it to the restaurant and have them bring it out for his birthday but i thought usually when you go out to dinner like everyone doesn't eat cake do you know what i mean like usually the cake's just there for decoration so i was like i'm not gonna bring the big one and let it go to waste i'll bring a small one just for him like a personal cake for him and keep the big one for home adam's getting a haircut right now and i think he went to go dye his hair as well uh back to black Tell me if you still love me.
5 a.m. and I'm drunk right now. Tell me, can we still fuck? One on one, I'm in the zone right now. Tell me, am I still? Mm, telling you just how I feel right now. You say it's just the drugs, and I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It is 10:30 in the morning. It's Saturday, so it is the big day. Today is the day we celebrate Adam's birthday. And right now, I am just heading to pick up his balloons that I got for him. Um, I ordered these from our balloon lady. I always feel weird saying balloon lady because it sounds kind of like clownish, like balloon lady. <laughs> I don't know, I just think of clowns immediately because clowns like blow up those balloons and stuff, like the animal balloons. But we have a balloon lady, which is also crazy to say. We have a balloon lady. We have a balloon lady who does all of our balloons for like birthdays like she did my birthday um she did crew's birthday oh yeah we go to her every single time so yeah i'm gonna go pick up adam's balloons for his birthday he doesn't even know that i ordered them like he knows i was gonna get them but i don't think he knows i'm getting them today for his theme this year adam's birthday theme it is ads season so ads a d z is adam's nickname and then season i shortened it to s z n so it's ad season i think that's so cute and you'll see how that comes to play later on when i show you everything that we got going on for his birthday but i'm really excited um for him to see everything and for it to all come together i still need to go home and like blow up balloons and stuff like that which he knows he already knew we were gonna do that you know Eesh, that was a pothole if today couldn't start off oh my gosh and my camera is on 20 percent you've got to be kidding me y'all i'm pulled over on the side of the road because i went over a pothole and then as i turned onto another street our light came on on the car saying like low tire pressure left front tire i'm like oh my fucking gosh so obviously i pull over this tire is going flat like you can hear the air just coming out of it so now i'm literally two minutes away from the balloon lady i can't get to her i have to wait for someone to come fix this tire adam sent someone luckily yeah so thankfully adam is amazing he already doo -doo -doo, called someone they're on their way to come change the tire because we don't have like the adam knows how to change a tire <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say adam knows how to change a tire but we don't have like the ramp that you're supposed to use to lift the tire up to remove it you know so or is it a clamp clamp ramp i don't know what he said on the phone we don't have one of the pieces so he needs someone to come do it for us so he sent someone and they should be here within the next few minutes to change the tire but this was so unfortunate like come on now of all days for this to happen like really right now right now while i'm literally saying like i got shit to do today this is how the day's going. I see that now. I see that now. Wish my sanity some luck, because I need it. <laughs> Don't get me started. Don't get me started. What are you doing? I was dancing behind the camera. Y'all, my eyebrows are done. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. I made it there. The car has a temporary tire on it. That's all you need to know. She took off way too much of my eyebrow. But I'm home. I'm home safe. That's all that matters. It's 1.30. I left at 10.30 and all I got was my eyebrows done. Oh yeah, they haven't seen you, huh? Yeah, his trim looks so, his haircut looks so good. Thank you. Babe, can you do these balloons and not mess huh? them up this time? Pardon? Can you blow up the balloons? The last time I ripped it, the, the, the yeah, air. Yeah, so I'll put I it. My fingers are too big for I'll me. put it in and then you blow it. <laughs> Whoa! Ah! I need to go to the gym. His balloons also arrived while I was here. Shout out to my balloon lady. I told y'all she was gonna drop them off and she did. They look beautiful. I'm gonna show you in a second. They look so good. And she really helped me out because I was, I'm still running behind on time. I need to do my hair. I need to get dressed. I need to put laundry way upstairs. 
I need a frost cake, frost cupcakes, blow up balloons. Oh my God, don't get me started. These are what the balloons look like. Obviously the lighting is behind it, so it's not really showing it really well. But on it, I chose happy birthday ads, my angel on earth. And then it says ads season down here. Let me turn it so you can see a better view of like the color. Oh yeah, there we go. Do you see how pretty that is? It's like a cream color. It's just like my balloons that I had for my birthday. Just with a little bit more silver on his, but that looks so cute. What's up? You need me to hand you each letter. Yep. When I have a cake, I need to I ice. Thought so. Yes, you can, boy. You don't move with your ignorance. Watch out, you're in my zone as well. Find your own place to do that. Hey, I'm not having my own birthday balloons. Ah. <laughs> I was thinking 
the price too high, and I raised them. Shit in my bank account, getting out raised. Niggas been a lot of hats, switching my frame. And I'm sending out shots to the south, get flayed. Switch up my rock to the house, had a chain. Still with this shit, I forget that I'm straight. Tryna leave me on low down. I ain't with savages, don't bring a whole round. I'm going boogie, I'm switching my profile. All of my cars get delivered with no mouth. They think they do when we don't, I don't know how. Gotta do the low, got the plug, I need more pounds. I put on trip every day from the floor. I'm getting sick of this shit, post some more. Yeah. You tryna leave me, I'm low down. I ain't with savages, don't bring a whole round. I'm going bougie, I'm switching my profile. All of my cars get delivered with no mouth. They think they do, and we don't, I don't know how. I do the low, got the plug, I need more pounds. I put on trip every day from the floor. I'm getting sick of this shit, post some more. Yeah. Biggest shit never back in the store if you want it. I gave them the drill, they sucked it up, I got them on it. I bought a new paddock, I had to watch so I too turn them. Taking these drugs, I'm gonna be up until the morning. It ain't your car, you just a lease, so you don't own it. If I'm in the club, I got that five when I'm performing. The back end just came in and all corners. Five's a little cute. They all on us. I'm from Atlanta where young niggas crunch I know they hating on me, but I don't read comments. Whenever I tell her to come, she coming. Whenever it's smoke, we ain't running. Look too hard, don't stand too close. You gon' fuck around the time. Off this way, doing all these shows. Hopping on the road, don't fuck where I go. As long as I get paid, that little fire tripping on my mind. As long as I get back, she can shut it. Do this all the time. This ain't no surprise. Every other night, another movie can make. Look too hard, don't stand too close. You I'm walking around the town, I'm this way, doing all these shows, driving on the road, I don't get the wild, as long as I get paid, I had a little vibe, tripping on my mind, as soon as I get back, shit, get shit, do this all the time, this ain't no surprise, every other night, another movie getting made, every other night, another dollar getting made, every other night, started with a good day, living like a child, I got boogles in the face, I'm in the dollar, this shit is a parade, I don't want your train, I'm going to another slave, I hate that job, that ain't too many bitches getting saved, yeah, say, when it's hard, think about Happy birthday to <laughs> you. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Not vocals. Happy birthday, dear Adam. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> Thanks, babe. Happy birthday, my love. Happy birthday. I love you so much. I love you so much. No, no, no. You're no, handsome no, self. No. I love you. I love you. Thank what are you doing? I love you. Like, what are you doing? I love no, you. Weird, Come man. here. I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. Thanks, baby. I hope you have a wonderful day today. I hope you have more blessings, you know, throughout your next trip around the sun. Mm -hmm. I hope you gain wisdom. I think you're going to say gain weight. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> just, to <laughs> just kidding. No, just, I would say, it. I hope you gain wisdom. I hope you have more positivity. I hope all your stress goes away. I poof. <laughs> I say that and I just disappear. <laughs> the God's like, wish granted. <laughs> so here, is that your birthday wish? <laughs> I'm crying. I love you so much. I can't wait to make another year of memories. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday to uh, you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Hip, hip, hooray! I'm gonna sing this song so much today, you'll be tired of it. I'm already tired. Thank you. You're welcome. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday! 
Happy birthday, dear Adam. Happy birthday to you. Adam, want me to open your card for you? Thank you. Wait, you didn't do your part. Hooray! I'll tell you how what Bobby did for you. Wait, wait, let him do it. Let him do it, Bubba. Mm -hmm. He's got to read it. Ooh. Here's to another birthday. Another year of attempting to act like a responsible adult. Now let me read it for you. Wait. Let her read it. Let her read it. <laughs> About my mommy drawed, and I drawed my name right here. And mommy's, uh, this, uh, this is mommy saying this is mine. Okay, come across, you can read it. You say you like better. Thank you. You say so you, you say you like better. I don't know, I can't decide. I think it cruise. <laughs> well, mommy, you didn't draw that much, but. I know. I should have drawn a picture on my side, huh? Yeah. Maybe I would have won. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Look how big I can read. And the boy could open the present out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's another funnel back. Hold on, what's going on here? <laughs> What is going on here? I don't want me to open one up for you. Can I help me pull the, okay. pull the paper? Just pull the paper. Pull it. Okay. Stronger, stronger. Yeah, there we go. I have to open the box with this guy. Both of us. Yes, I know. And I have to give us for both of us. Oh, thank you. Wait. Mm. Wait, how do I for both of us? I need more to play with more patrollers, whatever that is. No, it's fun, both of us. Yeah. Mm. Wait, it won't like the flats right here. How about him? Sounds so good. Look, Carolina Herrera. Good. <laughs> that oh, that sounds nice. Thanks. Man. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Can you both come give me a big hug? Both come give me a big hug. I don't know why this is an opening. Here. Is this silver? Oh, oh, two. I put it at the top of that open. Mm. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Let me hold it. Happy birthday. Hi, guys. And I had a birthday today. I'm going to share a boy. Whose birthday is it today? Adam's. Um, how excited are you? So exciting. <laughs> Can you say, I'm so excited. Happy birthday! Thank you. Can you say, I'm so excited? I'm so excited. <laughs> say it again, say it again. I'm so excited. Yeah! Hey, that's not Adam, honey. Wait, that mine. I thought time. you gave that to him for his birthday. Can root it he want? I think you can root it. Cause, uh, Cause I took all your money. Ooh. And we have a way for time. So as uh, you won, uh, so you can have it. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Cause I got all the money I need already. You got all the money you need? Yeah. 
Oh, thank you so much, man. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah, but I was done all the last week. Tell me where have you been? Yeah, <laughs> 